Was Chalet Girl your first script that you'd written? Absolutely not. It was about the tenth script that I wrote. Um, I've been doing this since 2000, sort of pretty much full-time, freelance, self-employed, jobbing reader, script editor, corporate script writer, um, and feature film, unproduced feature film script writer was, right. my, was on my business card for a while. And I'd written loads of stuff, had some options, had some nearlies, had some exciting meetings with exciting people that came to nothing. Right. Uh, and, and then along came Harriet Rees, the producer at the Cheltenham Screenwriters Festival in 2007, I guess. And she had been a chalet girl, wouldn't you know it? And so I had this idea. In fact, the chalet girl idea I'd worked up with another producer... Uh, a couple of years earlier, he and I worked on a treatment. He tried to set it up, couldn't get the money for a, a script. You know, not that it was a lot of money, but he sort of went around the houses. He said, I don't think this is one for us. So the treatment came back to me, sat next to Harriet in a session. I can't remember who the session was with. Anyway, at Cheltenham, sort of prodded her afterwards and pitched her merrily, pitched right. her a dozen ideas. She said, oh, Shelly Girl, I did a season. Uh, we haven't seen the Alps on the big screen before this whole kind of chalet girl concept is maybe interesting it's a bit upstairs downstairs it's very British uh, let's do a romantic comedy in the Alps right okay and how did it feel going into writing that that first that tenth draft or tenth script first draft you know after coming out of the ninth script if you see what I mean you know thinking okay here's another mountain to, car uh, to climb up yeah it's kind of once more onto the breach and you go in with your expectations in check I suppose but I get excited whenever I write a first draft because that's sort of the thrill of the process really yeah. you want to prove almost to yourself whether this five page treatment actually works over a hundred pages So, and that's always kind of interesting for me the, the tougher bit is drafts sort of 12 through 193 where you're going back <laughs> over the material and there's less of a sense of discovery every time <clears> you do it um, but that's you know that is the process and the script got better with every right. draft I think we Harriet and I developed a very good relationship where we trusted each other's opinions we could kind of push back on notes that we felt were taking it in in the wrong direction so I genuinely believe every draft took it uh, another step down right. the road that it needed to go down. We never sort of haired off in a tangent that right. we then sort of go, well, no, maybe let's take the elephants out and go back to, you know, three drafts ago and start again. It was right. always, it was, it was, I have to say, an, uh, a really gratifying process um, for my first movie. It helped that the director was a guy I knew uh, from before and trusted, so his involvement was great. We've had a kind of a core team of me, Phil Trail, the director, Harriet Reese, the, the producer who optioned it, and Harriet then got a, 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 a sort of producing partner, Pippa Cross, uh, who's extremely experienced and has great right. script knowledge as well. So, and the four of us have stayed at the core and stayed best mates throughout, right. and that is something that I would love to replicate so, again. So you're working in a team, really. You're the team writer, I guess, the nominated team writer. And how many drafts did you go through? I, I say to Harriet, and she doesn't sort of really like it when I say this, but in my Chalet Girl script file, folder, there are a hundred different drafts. Uh, you know, maybe 50 of those were in the last two or three months where you do production rewrites and you change something on w on one page, and so that counts as a new draft. I reckon we, Harriet and I maybe did five drafts, and then we did a few when Pippa came on, and then with Phil we spent, um, we had a sort of a moment in the autumn of 2008 where we thought maybe we can make this in the winter 2008-9 so we hurried hurried and did quite a lot of work then and then we thought it's not going to happen we didn't have the cast we didn't really have the finance so that winter passed and we sort of had to eye up winter 2009-10 so we had a kind of a year just because of snow and you know it's a skiing movie so you've got to film it in the Alps when it's snowing and that was a really nice period where we could just sort of take a step back Phil and I then did a bit of an MOT on the script not massively and the whole script hasn't changed massively mm. from the first treatment that I did in terms of the plot beats um, but you know the motivation and the why do we care and the what's important to our heroine at every step of the journey which uh, for Phil as a director he's going to have to tell Felicity the actress 
on set why is this scene here what are you doing um you know wh- how are you different at the end of this scene from the start of the scene so we really went through i think from yeah. him as a director's point of view he needed to do that work and it was small but very significant changes that we did in 2009 do you think that process of refinement is is absolutely essential to putting out a a very lean project, something with no excess, if you, no excess from a production point of view, but also no excess in story in terms of the finished film. I think doing it with the director is essential and doing it with a director with whom uh, you have uh, maybe a creative affinity but also he respects you you respect him you're both working towards making the same movie um, I've had experiences in the past where I've written a script direct uh, directors come in with lots of ideas and I'm sort of sitting there going okay uh, and the producer will say go you know uh, the director's got some notes go off and execute them and you maybe don't well, A, you don't work in as close collaboration as I did with mm. Phil, and B, maybe you don't actually like the notes or mm. understand the notes, and that is is unhealthy and sends the script off in a completely different direction. With Phil, you know, and Harriet and Pippa, all the time we were sitting down in a room or in a conference call, what's not quite working, we'd uh, reach a consensus, but then they were very good and they would give me another couple of weeks mm. go off and you write it tom and then we'll tear it apart and then you write it again you know but it was very um it was it was always heading in the right direction it was always sort of you know just let's dig an extra le- level mm. deeper if we can mm. together there was it was collaborative i think sure. phil would say you know there's the whole thing it's in screen this this week who's the writer and um it's todd phillips saying he thought that robert downey jr should have had a writing credit on due date because he came up with lots of stuff absolutely fine you know the director comes up with loads of stuff the cast came up with loads of stuff on this what i appreciated is they would always run it by me mm. and always kind of challenge me to do better mm. phil worked in tv in uh, la a lot and their whole uh, attitude there is you know pitching ideas and in, in whether that's in the writer's room or on set it's like this scene isn't working let's have a new gag you know sound guy what's your idea actor what's your idea director you know and the best idea wins and that was our philosophy and if mm. so, you know phil actually shared it and um, the script with a friend of his at one point who's mm. a gag writer comedy writer and two of the best lines in the movie are his i'm not saying which ones they are but you know i hold my hands up and go you know and they always mention in the reviews it's like <laughs> the witty dialogue such as this line it's like that wasn't me but i'll take the credit for it but you know i probably i maybe i do take the credit for it because you yeah. can't just have a line in isolation. You, it all needs sure. to kind of, it all needs to work do you, together. 